Lesson 1.4 is a basic review of linear functions and slope. As you can see from our PowerPoint, the slope of a line is the ratio of the vertical change, which we call the rise, to the horizontal change, which we call the run. Of course, you recall this from both Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, where x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2 are the coordinates of two points. We also know that depending on the value of the slope, it tells us about the line and whether it rises, falls, is horizontal or vertical. A positive slope value tells us the line rises from left to right. A negative slope value tells us it falls from left to right. Zero means the line is horizontal, and undefined means the line is vertical. So the first thing we want to be able to do is find the slope of a line that passes through a pair of points. And then we want to be able to indicate what the line looks like. So I have two sets of points here. And for my set, first set of points, when I go to find the slope, I am going to take the change in the y coordinates, and for the first set of points, I have labeled them. So I'm taking y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, which some people like to write plus there, minus a negative. But I get negative 6 over negative 1 and that becomes positive six. For my second pair, I'm not going to label them. And remember, it doesn't really matter which point you start with in the numerator for y, as long as you're consistent and start with the same point in the denominator for x. So I have five minus a negative two over negative one minus four this time it looks like I get 7 over negative 5. And in the first case, the line, the slope of the line was positive, which tells me the line is going to rise from left to right. And the second case, my slope value is negative, so that tells me the line falls to the right. That's slope. And you've done that before. Writing the equation of a line. There are two methods we can use to write the equation of, the of a line. The first method, the slope-intercept form, is used often in Algebra 1, but the point-slope form is what we use in Algebra 2 and beyond. In case you've forgotten the point-slope equation, it's y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1, where m is the slope of the line, and x sub 1, y sub 1 is a point on the line. So let's see if we can write an equation of a line. In number 1, we're given the slope is m, and it passes through a point 2, negative 5, so that would be like x sub 1, y sub 1. So assuming we know the point-slope equation, which you can scroll back up if you need to, we'd have y minus a negative 5. I'm just going to write plus 5 equals our slope 6 times the quantity x minus x sub 1, which is 2. If I simplify that, I have y plus 5 equals 6x minus 12, and probably the most important thing is that you write the final answer in slope-intercept form, which we will be required to subtract 5 from both sides, and we get 6y minus 17. In our second example, we need to find the slope of the line first. So I'm going to take negative 6 minus a negative 1 over negative 1, minus a negative 2. That gives us a negative 5 over positive 1, which is negative 5. And so now we're going to take one of our points, and we're going to plug in with one of our points, so it really doesn't matter. 
I will use this first point right here with the given slope that we found. And so I'm going to have y plus 1 equals negative 5 times the quantity x plus 2. So I get y plus 1 equals negative 5x minus 10, which means in slope-intercept form, we'd have y equals negative 5x minus 11. So that's writing an equation of a line given either the slope and a point or two points, and you just plug into the point-slope equation and simplify, making sure final answers are always in slope-intercept form. Graphing. We can graph lines either using slope-intercept form, using both the slope and y-intercept, or standard form where we typically find the x and y-intercepts. Special cases of the lines are where the equation does not include both x and y. A horizontal line is where y equals a constant value and the slope value is zero. A vertical line is where x equals a constant value and the slope is undefined. So I have five examples and we're just gonna go through each one. In the first one, I could put it in slope-intercept form. Some students might prefer that method, and so they would either subtract 3x and add 6 to both sides, and then divide both sides by 2. That gives 3 halves x minus 3. Another student might prefer using the x and y-intercept method and so they write it in standard form. They add 6 to both sides, and they actually make a little table, and they plug in 0 for x and y to find their intercepts. So when we plug in 0 for y, our equation actually becomes 3x equals 6, which gives us, for our x-intercept, 2. And when we plug in 0 for x, our equation becomes negative 2y equals 6, and our y-intercept is negative 3. So either way you go about it, you should be able to graph your line, either starting at negative 3 because that's the y-intercept, and going up 1, 2, 3, right 2, putting a point. We could go up 3, right 2 again if we wanted. And you'll also notice that 0, negative 3, and 2, 0 are two of those points, and we would draw through the points that we have straighter than I have, but you get the idea. The second line, we're already in slope-intercept form, so it makes the most sense to use that form. We would start at our y-intercept of negative 1. We'd go up 2, write 3, and we could draw our line. That was a little better that time. Um, the next one, special case of a line where x equals negative 2. So I would go over to negative 2 on the x-axis and draw my line. In case 4, I could divide both sides of this equation by 4. This is the special case of a horizontal line. So I could go up to positive 2 on the x-axis or y-axis and draw my line. And finally, in my last case, it's already in standard form. So if I plug in 0 for y, my equation is negative 2x equals 12, which means my x-intercept is negative 6. Um, and if I plug in 0 for x, that means my y-intercept, 4y would equal 12, would mean my y-intercept is 3. And let me do something here. I am going to erase my y-axis so that it works for my graph. And I'm going to draw my y-axis here. And now when I go back to graph, negative 6, 2, 4, negative 6 would be here. 0, 3 would be here. 
And now I can draw my line through those points. So that's a quick review of slopes and lines and equations, which hopefully you recall all of this from Algebra 2. Your assignment is in my math lab. It's 1.4. Have a great day. Thanks.